defeated the socialist candidate in the election there, the runoff. Just the latest in a wave of what you would describe as anti-establishment uh, figures winning victories, starting probably with Brexit 2016 and the election here in the United States of, of Donald Trump. And speaking of the president, he did reach out to Bolsonaro, and this is a tweet, had a very good conversation with the newly elected president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, who won his race by a substantial margin. We agreed Brazil and the United States will work closely together on trade military and everything else. Excellent call, wished him congrats. Let's bring James Roberts in, Research Fellow for Economic Freedom and Growth at Heritage to talk a little bit more about this. What's, what's the message, James, do you think, if there is one in this, in terms of it's a continuing, you know, of the, the rise of kind of anti-establishment figures like a Donald Trump, or is the message more from people speaking out against governments? What do you read into what happened in Brazil? You know, I think, when you talk about the establishment, in this case, the establishment was Latin American socialism, and yeah. that's what the people of Brazil have rejected strongly. This is a hugely positive de development for Brazil, for Latin America, and for the United States, I think. Uh, the let's people talk about are fed how. up with let's the, talk about how the corruption. Of, uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. Let's talk about how in terms no, of ahead. economics, which I was going to say, because everything I've seen written about this guy today is basically focused on his social views. And he said some outlandish things in the past, and that's where I think the far right label has been attached in many of the um, newspaper articles and what have you. He said, for example, I'm told that he said he'd rather have his son die in a car accident than be gay, this kind of thing years ago. What I haven't seen as much of is what type of president he's going to be, and this matters to the United States from a practical standpoint when it comes to economics. We have interest in Brazil, oil and what have you. What, what kind of guy is he? You know, I think many politicians, especially people who've been around as long as Bolsonaro has been in the Congress down there for 30 years, have said things that they would later regret. And those things were used really to smear him by the opposition during the campaign. But the reality is that he is talking about bringing more economic freedom to Brazil by increasing opportunities for private sector, by you know, establishing better the rule of law, cracking down on the, on the violence in the streets and the corruption that was massive in the government under the Workers' Party. Party that he defeated by a very clear margin. So I, he has a good, uh, very good new finance minister who will be coming in, a PhD right. at University of Chicago Economics, who is going to privatize companies to bring money and investment into Brazil, do deals, especially with the United States. Uh, mm -hmm. He's skeptical, Bolsonaro, of, of China. He shares that skepticism with Trump. As, I mean, I, I think this could be a very good thing for Brazil. As a final quick point, we don't have a lot of time, James, but if you, it's not just Brazil, right? You have pro-market governments now in other areas. Of, of South America, Argentina, Colombia, Ecuador, and others. Is it, is it a better time relationship-wise for the United States in that part of the world? It is definitely a time. And uh, you've got Chile, Argentina, Colombia, for sure. Uh, they can together really uh, try to put pressure on this brutal uh, dictatorship in Venezuela where just people are suffering and people are fleeing the country, with, mm -hmm. uh, starving to death without right. medicine. There are many, many good things that could come out of this victory, I think. All right. Uh, we're out of time, unfortunately, but we'll talk more about this subject as um, time goes on. James, thanks a lot. We appreciate it. Sure.